Okay, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII 2. We are here in the Chocobo races in, uh, Serendipity. Now, what I did was, off-screen, I leveled up my Silver Chocobo to level cap. I then infused it. I then infused it with a level 1 Pulse Gladiator, a level 1 Cactar, which I got from Arcalet Step, and a level 5 Micro Chew from Arcalet Step. Um, to get the abilities you see on the right, to get Sprinter, Second Wind, and I believe Marathoner. Um, here's how I get coins. Entering a race will consume, sure. I'm just getting for like the big ones. Um, so what I do here from this point is I select my strategy to stay at the back of the pack. Also, I bet on my own chocobo here. 100. And... Let's go. May the goddess smile. And also, I'm going to try to get an early start. Okay, I failed at that. So, ideally you would do a 600 meter race, but, uh... Uh-oh, that's not good. 1200 meter is also fine. Oh, actually, no, it's fine, it's fine. Staying at the back of the pack and then winning until... waiting till the very end. Conserve stamina. And you see the boost down there, it's building up. I'm not going to do that just yet. Oh god, I might not actually win this. I'm going to wait for Blue Streak to proc whenever it chooses to. Wait for it. For it. Come on, Blue Streak, anytime. Blue Streak unleashed, go. Blue Streak makes me go faster. I'm gonna lose this race on. Uh. Motherfuck. Okay, well, ideally, you'll win the race. I think I might want to improve the health of my thing. Okay, let me look at this again. Hold on, the racing form. Good condition. I'm not sure what condition it was. Well, yeah, anyway. Let's give this another try real quick. Did you notice? One of the prizes you can win is a chaos Earn a... crystal. Welcome to the chat. Oh, I have to actually do that. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing too good.
Okay, yeah, I do need to do that. So yeah, stay in the back of the pack. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. Dahaka stakes. Yeah, I need to work on improving the condition of that, apparently. Also, I don't think I bet on my choke bow there, did I? So that's how you that's how you do choke bow racing. And of course I didn't place a bet because I'm an idiot. But yeah. That is how you do that. And I plan on getting this till I get ten thousand coins won for that one achievement. And so yeah. I'm gonna be off screening for quite a while. Alright, so that actually took some time. But uh, I got all the artifacts, or not artifacts, but the fragments that I could in Serendipity. So, we're back here in Yash's Massive 10 AF. I just needed to get that. And I am looking at a guide for some of these, because screw... Screw not being able to find them on my own. So we're gonna go back to Gatchet's Massey for 10, er, I should say 1x AF. And yeah, I looked up how to get some of this crap. I don't care. <laughs> like, I need a guide for parts of this. So, throw Mog down into this pit. And that's the last... That's the last star that that dude wants. And I guess we'll kill this crap. I don't even know if these things are weak to any elements. Not that it matters, since I could just, yeah, kill, kill them in like literally five seconds or less. So, is there a chocobo nearby? Actually, there is. Pretty sure I've gotten most of the bestiary from this area, except for the rare encounters, which I'm not bothering with that right now. I'll do that closer to the very end of the game. So I believe I got everything in Academia, aside from fill out the entire bestiary of the game, which, again, I'm not doing that right now. I'll do it later. Which I'm not sure if I actually showed off the dialogue to keep starting that quest. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal, really. And then... we are going... to deliver to this dude. Found three crystals, all of a different color? Can I see them? These must be what fell from the sky. And I can only think of one explanation for what they are. <laughs> of course, I must warn you, it's, it's not a very scientific explanation. Even though I'm a scientist, I try to keep an open mind. This is why I think it's possible there's some truth behind what I read in an ancient transcript. Long ago, 
the seeress of Padra offered three prayers to the night sky and made a prophecy. She predicted that her three prayers would take the form of stars and fall from the sky in the course of time. The colors of the three stars were stated clearly in the prophecy. It just so happens that they match the colors of the crystals down to a T. This can't just be a coincidence of some sort. The crystals are yours to keep. The people of ancient times believed that the prayers of the Cirrus had powers of protection. This is her gift to you from the past. <laughs> or maybe it's just Din, Faror, and Naru visiting this place. <laughs> uh, if I knew the exact lines, I would say the exact lines when the Deku tree talks about those three in uh, Ocarina of Time. Is this the dude? The stone tablet we found in yeah. the Padra ruins. How could we let it get destroyed? That was the dude. You're going to search for the tablet? Don't be absurd. Like I told you before, it shattered into a million pieces. It's gone. No other relic compared to that tablet in value. I don't see how you'd be able to get your hands on something like that. Wait, is that... This can't be. That's the tablet that shattered into pieces. Where did you get it? It's... It's the real thing. The stone tablet tells the story of an ancient myth. According to some legends, the people of Cocoon and the people who lived on Pulse many years ago were born from the same ancestors. Can you imagine people from two different worlds being related by blood? It turns out the people on Pulse spoke a language quite similar to ours, so the legend may not be as far-fetched and absurd as some may think. I think we finally found a piece to a very important puzzle. The puzzle of our history, our background, our evolution. Alright, so that's all of the fragments here. Oh, I am actually looking at something else. We need to go to this. Years ago, I never before. Yeah, it's just for a diff for the last fragments in Yeah, it's just 10 AF. I have, I'll admit I am looking at the IGN guide. It says, go to the ravine. Not sure what ravine it's referring to. I could just look it up if I, re if I get really stumped. Also, oh, an anomaly. Let's kill what's ever, let's kill what's ever, whatever is in here. Okay, one of these. Weak to arrow. Oh. I'll just stay deep protected though. It's really dumb of me to do that. Try some assassination, try some deep protect. Oh, it's immune to both of those. Uh. No. Uh, okay, that's half. Okay, it has resistance, to, some resistance to air, so. Somehow that was five stars, even though 
half the time I can do a 142 target time fight in five seconds and only get four sometimes. Um, is this the ravine? I thought I've already checked this. Oh, I just remembered. Since I'm actually here, I don't know if I started this officially, but there is a dude who wants me to... There's a dude who is apparently the old essentially the old tech support guy for this place he turned he was washed away by the paradox and I'm supposed to give a instruction manual to his predecessor or his successor which I'll do that now yeah I know I didn't show that off yet. Pretty sure this is the dude I talked to. And I already found that. I already found the the thing he wants me to give to the guy. I forget what segment that was, and I don't really care to look it up. I hate using these chocobos since they. Oh. Since they consume Geisel Greens as you go, but. I don't have a choice. This'll show you! No one's hurt, right? around here? Who told you that? Whoever it was is a lying son of a gun! You're saying you got your information from someone who died years, years ago? Ah, stop wasting my time! You're telling me you talked to a spirit. I think you've seen one too many scary movies, kid. So yeah, it does actually waste Geisel Greens as you talk to people. You have some. Ah, so I see you finally got your hands on a manual. Mind if I take a look at it? What in the... Uh, I thought my method was 100% by the book. Hmm, this makes sense. With the way I currently have things set up, if there's a problem with one of the lights, it can cause all of the other lights to switch off, too. Yeah, it looks like I need to make a few changes. If I'd continued to do things my way, it would have led to an awful accident. I guess I owe you a big thanks for pointing it out. A lot of what's in this manual is highly technical stuff. Did you figure it out on your own, or did you have someone explain it to you? If it's the latter, tell them I said thanks. Alright, so let's continue to mount. Wait, I don't like I actually don't need this. Oh, hello. 
I didn't even see that down there. Cool beans, outdoor watch. Uh, those aren't worth fighting, so I'm not bothering. Not sure why they would that wouldn't show up in ten. Oh wait, actually, I guess ten X would be a different timeline. So never mind. Well, either way, let's hand in that quest. Years ago, we could get this done a lot quicker if we had more people. Okay, so with that, we can get out, get out of this area. Epicurus was a friend. So now we can hand in that watch to that woman. Time and memory. And now that that's over, now that that's over with, I can finally move on. Move on, well, it's not done yet, but I can then move on getting the remaining Graviton cores that I can, and the remaining uh, wild artifacts that I can find. Even though after a hundred years in the future, the watch probably doesn't work anymore, but whatever. And if that actually is what she says, then I assure you I didn't look at this off screen. such a great distance. It looks like the date is off a little, though. But amazingly, other than that, everything else looks intact. Once I adjust the date, it'll be as good as new. The store owner really meant it when he said that watch would last for over 10,000 years. I thought he was joking then, but now I have proof he was telling the truth. I bought it from a little shop called Lenora's Garage in the town of New Bowden. You really know how to make things at last. You should check it out when you get a chance. It's just about my favorite shop on Pulse. So on that note, we're done with this place completely, as far as I know. Also, I keep hitting this instead of this. Uh, let's go to... First off, Brescia Ruins. For the first uncollected artifact. There's one artifact in Ereba 400 AF, or rather, Graviton Core in Ereba 400 AF that I can't get to. And the game itself does tell you this. The reception, One of the receptionists in Academia 4XX tells you this. So anyway... This place down here, you get a chocobo... Use Mog down here. Use Mog to reveal this artifact. Or Graviton Core, whatever. I keep calling artifacts fragments, I don't care. Um, yeah, you. Yeah, you use this little thing as a ramp and then float down there with the Chocobo.
and then time and next is an Araba 200. Use the chocobo to get over here. If you can get up on top of this building. Which is apparently easier said than done. There we go. And... We actually have all the cores we need. We don't need all of them, but I will get all of them because uh, this is a 100% playthrough. Uh, and then Time and the last one that I can get is in Academia 400, the doomed alternate universe. Actually, the best place to start. <laughs> I forget the exact location, but I think it is just. Actually, it might be down the... Oh, it's down this way, actually. So we'll just do this. And here it is. Which I actually did find this on my own, but I didn't collect it for the sake of the LP. Because I didn't want to show where that was. And I guess the rest of the... Fragments in this area are from turning in maps to that woman. Alright, so now it's time to explore slash collect the remaining wild artifacts. And I do actually mean artifacts. So, first one that I missed is in the Arcolet Step, the very far west side of the map. In Clearwater Marshes is a ledge with this artifact. Oh right, I'm here because I... So I was trying to get the uh, Cactuar to few infuse with the Silver Chocobo for the Chocobo races. I no longer need to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're going apeshit, Moot Mog. Whenever I try to, whenever I try to do the thing, he won't do, or he won't find anything unless I have to upgrade him again, which maybe I do. I don't know. 
So anyway, on the very west of the map, there's a ledge with this one. Oh yeah, also, I off-screen I activated this thing and defeated a a giant uh, cactuar, whatever it's called. The the shitty the shitty boss from 13, mission 55. Um, I that was I actually beat it really easily this time though. So, anyway, um, I have to reread what it says. Very, I think it said on the very west of the map. That's why I'm not looking. Very far west side of the map is a ledge with this artifact, huh? Does it say use Moogle Throw? Throw Mog down there. Okay. Okay. Example of what I was talking about. I assume I'm gonna see where it is, but that might be assuming too much. Also, I'm not gonna get away from this fight, am I? Oh no, I did. Good. Maybe it's down here, because there's a miniature waterfall. Also, my he just got thrown down the entire ravine. I may look up where this... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's kill these things. So Sarah's level 90, I'm level 99 commando now, so... And there we go, that's another. Let's try throwing him again. level up. Oops. Yeah, let's level up, shall we?
Oh, oops. I think I'm about to hit level 99 Ravager here. By I think, I mean I know I am. So with this done, let's get out of here. Let's look for the next wild artifact. All right, let's see. I'll guess the tower 200. I think I got that one. Uh, yeah, I definitely got that one. Yeah, just massive 100. Pretty sure I got that one. Did I not? Yeah, I did. Uh. Academia 4XX. I did not get that one. Wait, it's up here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Time and Directly south of Chocolina on the east is a back alley. There's nothing notable except for a piece of I replace except for a sphere on a very short flight of steps. Alright. If this takes too long, this description isn't particularly great and there's no picture showing the exact location of this so I will look it up and cut to when I find it if I have to I will Chocolina to the east. That would be. Uh. Pardon me. How are you on this? Thank you and thank I'll look around for a little bit. But like I said, if I I can't find this, and I'm just off screening. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what's... There's something here. Steal some money. Oh, wait, wait. Here's Chocolina. All clear. Uh. Actually, we may as well just use this artifact here. See what this unlocks, if anything else.
Vile Peaks, 10 AF. Okay, I remember Vile Peaks from a long time ago. Anywho, let's go back to our search. this again. Okay. This guide says take a uh, go immediately east, I think it said. And take the blue walkway. Wait, this is what it said, right? East, not west. The blue walkway. Yeah, to the east of her, which is over here, I guess. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not here. Well, it does say take the blue walkway, which is this. Then use Mog somewhere. Right? Or is it in here? Or something? No? Where does it say? Hold on. Boxes. Here's some boxes where the ground changes to copper and gray. Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. I was gonna say that's a terrible description, but no, no, there it is. Okay, wild artifact. Cocoon is supposed. That is actually a decent description. All right, so now I'm curious what all I can unlock from this point. Can I? Is there any? Okay, there's nothing in the vile peaks. Oh, there's another gate I can open here though. Yeah, I realize I just went into the same place twice. Whatever. You're not playing the game efficiently. that other gate. Uh, it's up there. Well, then. I'm 
sword. I don't know why I'm jumping over the the green crap. You know what, I think the faster way would just be go up here and then go down there. I could be wrong, though. that won't kill you. Okay, well, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll find another one. I don't remember where that is, and I'm not looking through there. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, yeah, Arkelet Step. Okay, Arkelet Step. Let's look in here, then. And the last one is actually in A Dying World, which is closer to the end of the game. Oh, it even says after completing this area in the story. I know I've said this before in other videos and playthroughs, but thank god I'm not bound by the 15 minute time limit. I think you two would go off their ass and up it to... Uh, up it to 20 by now. So we'll go down to the one way down there. Wait, that's the one that's unlocked, right? Er, locked. Yeah. Oh, hey, Cactar. I'll kill you real quick. At least they don't have 255 magic defense. Oh, they actually aren't even worth killing. I thought they were. Oh well.
sure, but... It's very good, Kupo. It's been sealed in such a way that an artifact won't open it. We have to find out where and how to break the lock, Kupo. Okay, well, I guess I just wasted a few minutes of your time. See you guys.